isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga lami. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa pag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating alive program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS program at SPED tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Magandang araw. Welcome to Itulay Online Tutorial. Opo, si Tutor Arlie, nagsasabing magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Magandang araw din po sa aming S uh, SDS Sir Danilo Season sa, sa SDO Pangasinan do sa pagpapagintulot po sa amin. Uh, mag magkaroon ng uh, mag online tutorial sa aming also, sa aming Principal sa San Fabian National High School, Sir Jesus Sereno, at sa aming Assistant Principal sa Senior High School Department, uh, Sir Rolando G. Mayugwa, mga EPS po sa SDO Pangasinan 2, mga school head, uh, department heads, and mga learners. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Okay. So, ngayon, tayo ay nasa quarter 3, week 5 na ng ating Subject, Inquiries, Investigations, and Immersion. Ang topic natin ngayon ay Reading on Related lit uh, Studies. So ako po ang yung Tutor Arlene. May namimiss po tayo ngayon ang ating kasamang si Tutor Tina na medyo busy po sa ngayon sa oras na ito. So uh, ako po muna inyong makakasama sa hapong ito. Okay. Yan. Are you ready to learn? Then join us as we begin with our research journey. Okay. 
Okay. Bago po yan, uh, isang congratulations po muna sa ating mga masaliksik na duty of the week. Si Darlene Tumampil, Crystal Jane Jordan, John Mark Dolano. And also masaliksik na paaralan of the week, ang Horacio de la Costa High School. Congratulations po sa inyo. Okay, so let's now go to our learning objectives. Okay, number one, gather and synthesize information from different sources of information. Okay, number two, familiarize the different citation styles and format. Okay, and number three, write citations correctly on the sources used in a research study. Okay, so let us unlock these learning objectives by going to the first. Okay, we have here our first learning task. Okay, the direction, write A if the statement is correct and B if it is incorrect. Okay, so andyan na sa ating comment box ang mga ating mga learners ngayon. So, so punta na tayo ngayon sa number one. Or just write your comment on or answer on the comment box for number one. A or B, okay? Review of Related Literature, RRL, gives an overview of all the writings related relative to a specific topic. Okay. 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 and Gina Val, VC, and Carrie, PG, 2017. Okay, is it A or B? Okay, correct or true? So let's see. Mga sagot na ang ating mga learners online. Okay. Okay, so nag attend ang siya po sila. Nagpapakilala ng kanilang sarili. Okay, sino kaya ang makakasagot? Okay, yan. Unang-una sa Darlene Tumampil. Ang sagot niya ay number 1A. Okay, sunod-sunod na sila. A ang sagot. So, tignan natin ang, kung tama nga ba ang sagot niyong letter A. Okay, ayan, letter A. Tama, Review of Related Literature or RRL gives an overview of all the writings relative to a specific topic. Okay. So, maraming mga uh, research studies, mga na, nasulat na mga research wherein you can read or review uh, some related literature or RRL to give all, all the overview of the writings relative to a specific topic. If we want to study on some uh, studies na gusto nyo maging um, a part of your RRL or review of your related literature sa inyong topic, sa inyong study. Okay, punta tayo sa pangalawa. Number two, A or B? Okay. Primary sources are immediate, first-hand accounts of a topic from people who had a direct connection with it. Example, monthly, quarterly, or annual journals. Okay, A or B? Okay. Correct or not correct? Okay. So, ano ang sagot sa ating pangalawa? Primary sources or immediate first-hand accounts of a topic from people who had a direct connection with it. Example, monthly, quarterly, or annual journals. Okay. Hello? Okay, number two, sabi Nor ni Norlin Verdadero. A. Okay, A, ang sagot na nila lahat o mapasok ng mga sagot ng ating mga learners. Okay, is it letter A nga ba ang sagot? Okay, A, correct. Primary sources nga are immediate first-hand. Kaya nga primary. First-hand accounts of a topic from people who had a direct connection. Example nga, yung mga monthly, quarterly, or annual journals, those are primary or first-hand sources or, or accounts of a topic. Okay, next. Let's go to number three, A or B. Correct or not correct? A secondary source of information is one that was created later by someone who did not experience firsthand or participate in the events or conditions you're researching. Okay. Okay, so let's see your answer. A or B, write your answer on the comment box. Okay. So, tingnan natin ano ang sagot sa ating pangatlong tanong. Secondary source of information is one 
that is that was created by later by someone who did not experience firsthand or participate in the events or conditions you are researching. For number three, okay, A, A pa rin ba ang sagot? Okay, so meron na tayong mga sagot dito, si Norlin Verdadero, okay, Diane Bukarin, at Asha D. Guzman. So tingnan natin, A ba? Okay, A, okay, sa so, tama. A secondary source of information is one that was created later by someone who did not experience firsthand or participate in the events or conditions you're researching. Kaya nga secondary source kasi hindi niya na-experience. So, on. so mayroon siyang first-hand source na pinaghugutan. Okay, yun lang kanyang research. Okay. Number four, pang-apat na tanong. Okay. Medyo nang hagin niya tayo yung ating mga learners dito. Okay. Correct or not correct, A or B, the sources that you should use must be outdated and unreliable. A or B, right, sir? Answer on the comment box and we'll see if it is right. Okay, I hope malakas ang inyong signal dyan para makarating ang sagot sa ating katanungan ngayon. Okay. Okay. Most of them answered letter B. Okay. Is it letter B? Yes. The correct answer is letter B. Not correct. Sources that you should that you use must be outdated and unreliable. Of course, it must be updated and not outdated. And also, it must be reliable and not unreliable. Those are the key terms. Okay, that you should take note, okay, in answering questions like this. And let's see, next number five. Okay, correct or not correct, A or B? The RRL you will cite may not be relevant to your topic. I your answer on the comment box, A or B, correct or not correct. Okay. Okay, Atasha de Guzman, sabi niya, B. Uh, darling, tumambil, Christine, Tobia. Okay, so tama ba? Letter B. Yes, the RRL you will cite may not be relevant to your topic. Not correct. That is not correct. It should be relevant to your topic. The RRL that you will cite, of course. Of course, you are going to first search for some re re review of RR related studies you are going to read and you are going to choose those review our our related studies that you are going to use in your research study which are relevant to your topic okay okay let's have one more number six say your b correct or not correct okay the rrl you will cite must be as fair and objective as possible your b right sir Answer on the comment box. Okay. 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 My answer si, nag-comment si Nancy Capistrano kanina. It should be relevant. Okay. So, number six kaya. Okay. Ang sabi ni Christine Tobia. Again, letter A. Yan yan. Sunod-sunod na letter A ang sagot nila. So, tingnan natin ang, uh, ang answer sa number six. Okay. The RRL you will cite must be as fair and objective as possible. That is correct. Of course, tapat lang na fair and objective as possible ang mga review of related literature that you will cite in your research studies and your related to your topics. Okay, number seven, one more. Okay, A or B, correct or not correct? The RRL you will cite must provide accurate and enough information on your topic. Okay. Okay, number seven. Okay, so write your answer in the comment box and let's see if okay, if you are correct. Medyo nalilate lang yung pasok natin. So, yan. Meron na si Christine Tobia. Again, letter A. masunod sudan na ang letter A, ang answer ng ating mga learners. Tingnan nga natin kung tama ba ang sagot nilang letter A. Correct ba? Yes, it's correct. The RRL you will cite must be provide accurate and enough information of your topic. Of course, right? The review of related literature that you are going to use in your research study in your chapter 2 of your, re your review of related literature 
must be accurate, must provide an accurate and enough information on your topic. Okay, it might be uh, in 250 words or, or, or at least 10, 10 pages, kung kaya. Okay, so at least uh, three or more references ng inyong re review of related literature will do. Yes. Okay, there. So we're done with the review of related literature questions. Now we go to the topic review of the related literature. Okay, primary and secondary. Okay, for the primary and secondary, okay, uh, review of related literature. Number one, the sources that you should use must be updated and reliable. Ito nga yung kanina. Hindi siya dapat outdated. Updated and reliable. When was updated? At at least for the last three years. Pag medyo mga five to ten years na yan, medyo outdated na ang mga review of related literature na yan. Okay, baka hindi na sila yung latest at saka hindi na rin reliable. Okay, number two, it must be fair and objective as possible. Of course, fair and objective. Okay, uh, fair sa lahat ng bagay and objective and that subjective, of course. Number three, it must be relevant to your topic. Oo naman. Alam nga naman, kukuha or magbabasa tayo ng out of the topic of your research study. Of course, magaharap tayo ng review of related literature that is relevant to your topic. Okay? And number four, it must provide accurate and enough information on your topic. So, nabasa nyo na ba lahat? Yung mga hinahanap nyo sa inyong review of related literature uh, para sa inyong topic or or do you need to re re uh, read more on research studies para ma-satisfy yung inyong pag-search about the problem of your research topic. Okay, there. So, primary versus secondary sources. What's the difference between them? So, my primary and secondary sources tayo. For the primary sources, okay, the main text or work that you're discussing, actual data or research results or historical documents also are first-hand testimony. Ayun yung primary, first-hand. Okay. Secondary, these are records generated by an event but written by non-participants in the event based on derived from primary sources but they have been interpreted or analyze. So, secondary sources na sila kung ito ay nakuha sa mga nauna pang mga primary sources. Okay. Example natin ng primary sources. Diaries, mga published materials, documentary, public opinion polls, mga reprinted primary sources, maps. So, marami yan. Examples naman ng secondary sources, encyclopedias, mga biographies, general history, Okay, most journal, uh, mostly journal articles, yes. Okay, uh, or, or mostly published books, except those discussed in, okay, of course, in the primary sources. Okay, in column one, there. Okay, now, okay, certified alert and ready to do learning task number one. Okay, let's do learning task number one. Okay, ready na? Okay. Draw a smiley emoticon if the statement is correct. And if it is incorrect, draw a sad smiley, a sad emoticon. Okay, sad smiley. Okay, so smiley and sad emoticon. Ang isasagot nyo ngayon. So let's see how fast our learners now in commenting their answers. Okay, learning task number one. Okay, number one, citing of sources comes in two manners two manners namely a in text citation and b referencing list okay so you can start okay come writing or sending your emoticons a smiley or sad emoticon in the comment box for your answer okay medyo nalilate yung dating sa ating cell phone okay let's see Okay, yeah, number one, si Shrina clear. Okay. Uh, so, so, pumapasok na yung mga smiley answers nila. So, tingnan nga natin kung tama ba ang smiley emoticons nila for number one. 
Of course, citing of sources comes in two manners, namely in-text citation and referencing list. When we say in-text citation, of course, you get some citations from the from your uh, literatures, okay? And then you get some points there, and then in-text citation. And then, of course, do not forget yung reference, referencing list for the authors of the uh, citation, the, the date, and okay, the, uh, the year of the publication. Always do not forget that, okay, to avoid plagiarism. Next, number two, referencing list refers to all the citations that can be found in all of the chapters in your research paper. Okay, smiley or sad, Mopicon. Okay. Okay, may mga smiley pa rin dito na answer sila Justin Lu, Hearty, Aster, Star Ito, Ganlao. Pero kung number one pa ba yun or number two na ba? Okay, okay number so two, si Darlene Tumampil. Okay, smiley or sad? Hindi masyadong nakita halit. Okay, smiley pa rin. Okay, smiley pa rin ang number two natin. Okay, pero mali sad emoticon siya. Number two, reference in list refers to all the citations that can be found in all of the chapters in your research paper. No. Kaya sad. Bakit? Kasi ang referencing list lang natin, yung mga relate, review of related studies lang that are used in chapter two. Okay. okay. Ano ba yung chapter one natin? Introduction. Okay, and chapter 3 is methodology. Wala naman tayong reference in list doon. And sa so chapter 4, yung summary conclusions and recommendations, wala din tayong reference in list doon. So, smiley, ta, ano, sa demoticon type for number 2. Kasi it refers to all, hindi. Okay, ang reference in list natin. Okay, in all citations that found in all chapters. We have that only in chapter 2 of the research paper sa refer for referencing list uh, in review of related literature there. Okay, number 3, learning task. Okay, number 3, in, in text citation refers to the bibliography and or references of your research paper. Is that a smiley or sad emoticon? So, okay, comment now. Okay, or send your smiley or sad emoticon for your answer in the comment box. Okay, marami pa rin smiley. Oh, meron din si Christine Tobia nag sad ng number three. Okay, number three, sad si Christine Tobia. Jamela Portugal, smile. Smiley, smiley. May nakatawa ta with, with ano pa? Okay, the device of V.S. Copete. Sad uh, emoticon. So, tam, ano, ano ba ang tamang sagot for number three? Okay, it's a sad emoticon. Why? Index citation refers to the bibliography and or references of your research paper. Hindi siya yung biblio, bibliography. The bibliography is different for in-text citation. In-text citation, you are going to take note on the, the author, the title of the author, uh, uh, Article or the book, the date and uh, the date of or year of publication in the place. Yun ang, no, doon sa relate, review of related studies natin. Well, bibliography is different. Okay, bibliography, ito na yung, alam nyo ba ang bibliography? Ito na yung, yun na yung, doon yung ilalagay yung mga references ninyo. Okay, references ninyo. Lahat ng authors na nabasa ninyo, yung mga related studies ninyo, ang ilalagay nyo doon. Okay. So, magkaiba ang in-text citations sa bibliography. Take note on that and or references of your research paper. Okay. So, in-text citation, ito yung review of related literature. While bibliography, doon nyo ilalagay sa isang page mga references nyo, lahat ng authors, okay, arranged alphabetically by family name or the last name of the author or the main author, kung marami sila, okay. So, yan ang pagkakaiba nila. Okay, sana na yan. May natutunan kayo, naiintindihan. Okay, number four. Buta na tayo ngayon. Cruz in 20, uh, 2002 states that research is blank, okay, that, 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 okay. De La Torre, 2005, 
describes the research as game and so on are examples of in-text citation by author or writer. So, eto na ngayon. We have here, uh, this is smiley or a sad. If it is true, parang true or correct ang smiley and sad. Kung tama ba, these are examples of in-text citation by author or writer. Okay. Okay, number four. So, mas maraming smiley na ngayon. Meron pang halo. Sila. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Kung tama ba? Of course, yes. It's smiley. Ito na ngayon ang examples of in-text citation by author or writer. Of course, you have to state. Okay. Unang-una yung last name of the author and then the year. And then, ano yung citation or in-text na isa-cite ninyo related to your Review of related studies. This is an example of an in-text citation. There. And number five, in-text citation by topic is used when several authors or sources give the same information about a certain topic. So the citation of the information will be granted to all the authors. Okay. There. So smile, smile emoticon na siya or is sad emoticon. Okay, will you send it on your, your answers on the comment box? Let's see for number five. Marami pang pumapasok ng number, uh, number four answers. Ayan, si Darlene tumampil. Okay, smiley. Si Chris, uh, Janela Portugal also smiley. Si Christine Tobia nag sad emoticon siya. And also Tasha. I see. Okay, so tingnan natin. Smiley ba or sad? Okay, smiley. In text citation by topic is used on several authors or sources give the same information about a certain topic. Okay, so citation nga, yan, di ba? In text citation. So the citation of the information will, will be granted to all the author, authors. Okay, several authors. So in this way, uh, marami silang author at all. Yan, mag, pero uh, yung pinaka maraming contribution dun sa article na yun, sa index sa, sa site na si Nike doon, ang nauna, ang uh, na-mention, okay, it may it means that the information will be granted all, to all the authors also who contributed also to that okay, uh, information. Okay, there. Okay, number six. Okay, you, 2005, states that. And 2007, discussed about two 2010, deliberated regarding okay so it's an example of citing sources using the chronological method okay so is number six a smiley or sad emoticon for your answer uh, is, uh, is this uh are these an example of citing sources using chronological method okay yes mean gamba smiley okay Ayan, sunod-sunod na yung mga sagot nilang smiley. Ay, hindi sure. Okay. Okay. So, ang answer natin then is, of course, correct. It's a smiley. These are example of citing sources using the chronological method. Why is it uh, used in the chronological method? According to the year it was stated. Okay. From the most, okay. So, nauna, of course, 2005, 2007, 2010. Okay. So, chronological method yan according to the year it was cited. There. Number seven, there are three most common citation styles that are used to cite sources. Namely, okay, here, A, American Psychological Association or the APA, B, Modern Language Association or the MLA, and C, Chicago Manual of Style, or the CMS. Okay. So, smiley or sad emoticon. Okay, number seven, si Christine Tobia. So, mag-smile siya. Okay, yan. Sunod-sunod na yung pasa. Okay, ang mga smiley emoticons sa sagot nila. Let's see. Okay, of course, it's a smiley. There are three most common citation styles that are used to cite sources. And that is what are we are going to learn on the next uh, topic. Okay, so good job. Good job kayong lahat mga learners or task one completers. Okay? Okay, meron kayong mga batch as task one completers. Okay, now let's go to the citation. So let's discuss citation 
Okay, the in-text citation and reference list. Ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng in-text citation and reference list? Kanina may question tayo sa task, performance task natin. In-text citation, of course you are going to get some text or in-text citation, get some lines that are most important in your topic. For the reference list, these are the okay, references ng inyong mga review of red related literatures. Okay. So, okay. And then, there are three. Okay. Okay. Uh, three and citations. First, the American Psychological Association or the APA. Okay. The APA citation for works with one author. Take note. Okay. In working with with APA citation style for one author source, you will need the author's surname and the year of its publication. Example by author, okay, ito Lee, in 2005, in close parenthesis, it states that the earth is, and so on. Okay, yun yung in-text citation nila. Oh, or by topic, the composition of the earth is, ito yung title ng book or topic, okay, by include in parenthesis naman yung list or the author's surname and the Year of its publication, 2005 by Lee, author. Okay, number two, APA citation for works with two authors. Of course, pag, pag two authors, pwede nyo siyang ah, magitin yung dalawang author, yung last name ng dalawang author. Citing sources with two authors with using APA style still needs the author's surnames and the year of publication. So the format varies whether you want to use a, by author or by the topic matter of citation again. So again, by the author, Kim and Lee in 2009, state that, okay, by topic accordingly, okay, and yung in-text citation, and then yung author, si Kim and Lee in 2000, then kama, 2009, yung year ng publication. In close, in parenthesis sila. So in the topic manner, the word and, and will be placed, replaced by a symbol and which is known as the ampersand. Ampersand. The author's surname and the year of publishing are separated by comma. Okay. Okay. Number three, cite IPA citation for works with three to five authors. Take note. Pag three to five authors, the information needed in this number of authors is still the author's surname and the year of publication. The format varies in on the number of citation used by the frequency of its usage. Okay. Examples by author, Kim, and then, Kama Lee, Kama Young, Kama and you. Ayan, apat na author yan. And then, the year of publication, 2015. And then, yung in-text citation, discuss, and so on. Ayan. By topic naman, yung topic na today's generation, so on. And then, in, in close in parenthesis yan, yung apat na author binanggit. Kim, Kama Lee, Kama Young, and you, Kama. And then, 2015, yung year of publication, in close in parenthesis. Uh, parenthesis. So, in the topic manner, the replacement of the word and to and, yung symbol na and, is still applicable. Still, the author's surname and the year of publication will be separated using a comma if you wish to use the same source for many times another. The format will be followed. Okay? Examples by author, Kim. Okay, at all. Ayan. Ito pag marami sila. Yung unang author lang binabanggit and then et al na kasi apat sila. So Kim ay yung unang author and then et al. May makasama siya. Then, then in closing parenthesis, the year of the publication and then the in-text citation discuss that and so on. By topic again, today's generation and so on. And then in closing parenthesis, Kim. Okay, yung unang author et al again. Marami sila. Tatlo, apat sila. Okay, 2015 and then uh, common than 2015, year of publication, and then enclosed in parenthesis. So in this format, the citation will be shortened by sustaining the first author and replacing the others with the word et al, okay? Which means and others. So in et al, the period will, will be placed only after the al, okay? So et al, okay? Yung period nandoon sa after ng al. And others, meaning and others. Okay. Next. Okay, number four. APA citation for works with six to ten authors. Okay, so marami sila talaga. So parang yung sa pag, pagsusulat ng mga SLMs, okay, in a 
curriculum, okay, kung sa grade 10 or grade 11, grade 12, eh, lahat ng nagtuturo ng isang subject, lahat sila ay nag-contribute ng mga uh, modules, okay, Nag sila mga mga writers ng modules. So, marami sila, hanggang sampung authors sila. So, citing literature with this number of authors follows the following format. Example, okay, ayan, umpisa yung unang author, of course, Lee et al. So, marami sila, meaning, and others, in closing parenthesis, 2015, discuss that. By topic again, today's generation, and so on. Lee et al., meaning and others, then the year of the publication. Okay, take note, ha, my period after the all, meaning uh, and others today. And then this format will be used in all the citations made there. Okay, okay, number five, APA citation for works with associations, corporations, government agencies, etc. as the author. Yeah. In this case, the associations, corporations, government agencies will serve the author. The year of the publication is still needed. For example, okay, according by author, according to the Department of Education in 2012, in closing parenthesis and so on. Okay, by topic naman, the education is blank, okay? In closing part in parenthesis, Department of Education, comma 2012, okay, the year of publication, and then close in closed in parenthesis. So, yan. Yan yung mga government agencies. Ganun. However, if the associations, corporations, government agencies have a well-known abbreviation, uh, the abbreviation can be added in the first citation and will be used in preceding citations to follow. So, abbreviation shall be enclosed in a bracket. Okay. Yan. First citation, Department of Education. Okay, so the abbreviation of the Depart Department of Education is step in. Okay, that is enclosed in the bracket and then susunod yung year of citation enclosed in parenthesis. Second citation, step in. Now, una naman dito yung uh, abbreviation ng Department of Education. This, and then enclosed in parenthesis yung year of the publication, the 2012 discussed. Ayan yun, in text citation. Okay, next. And number six, APA citation for works with indirect sources. Okay, indirect sources refers to sources that were mentioned in another source. In this case, primary author is needed. The year it was published and its page number. Example, Brown discussed that, okay, as cited by Smith in 22, 2002 on page 92. Ayan. So the primary author's last name, year of publication, and page are separated by Kamas. Okay. Meron pa. Number seven. APA citation for electronic sources. Electronic sources refers to materials that are in an electronic form. Okay. Example, PDF files for this type of source. The citation follows the author date format following its number of authors. Example, by author, Perry, in closing parenthesis, 2006, the year of publication, and then the in-text citation states that the, okay, so on, okay, by topic, the, okay, yung in-text citation, ano yung in-text citation, and then in closing parenthesis, the, the last name of the author, Perry, Kama, 2006, the year of publication, in closing parenthesis, and then period. Okay, there, one more, number eight, APA citation for websites with author and year published. In the review of related literature from this source, the author date format is still used. Example by author John in 2010, in closing parenthesis, for the year of publication, states that the, this is the in-text citation, so on. Okay, by topic, the, yung in-text uh, in citation, yan yun, uh, sa review of related studies. And then in closing parenthesis, the, uh, the last name of the author, okay, and then, yeah, separated by comma, and then the year of the publication, 2010, and then in close in parenthesis, year, year. Okay. One more. Number nine, APA citation for websites without author but with the year published. Okay, in this citation, in this style of citation, the title will replace the author and will follow the author date format. The title will be will be enclosed in quotation marks. Example by author, okay, enclosed in quotation marks, the solar system. Okay, and then, so, wala tayo dito, walang uh, author dito, no? But the title, okay. 
And then the year of the publication, 2012. Okay, yung in-text citation, Susan. By topic, it is said that, okay, for in the in-text citation, and then in closing parenthesis, so the solar system, that is the title, and then yung close parenthesis, and then comma, and then 2012, the date of the publication, and then in close parenthesis. Okay, the, uh, this one are the uh, quotation marks. Okay. Mark. The last one, number 10, IAPA citation for websites with an author but without year published. Okay, so the site, these sources, dates will be abbreviated by ND, which means no date, okay, by author green, okay, no date of publication stated that by topic accordingly, and the citation, then green, yung author, and then no date of publication. Okay. Okay, 11, APA Citation for websites without author and year published. Okay, to cite these sources, use the title of the enclosed with quotation marks in lieu of the author and write ND to specify no date. Okay, by author, the hydrosphere. Okay, and then in close in parenthesis, no date, no date of publication. Okay, top, by topic, accordingly for the in-text citation in close in parenthesis, then yung quotation mark, the hydrosphere, yung tit uh, title and topic, okay. And then, kama, lagyan pa rin ng ND pag no date of publication in closed end parenthesis. There. Okay, let's go to number two, Modern Language Association or the MLA. Okay, nandiyan pa kayo? I hope so. Okay. Nandiyan pa may gaya ng cellphone ko. Okay, MLA is a one commonly used citation in research papers, usually used in liberal arts and humanities. Unlike APA, MLA follows an author page format wherein author's your name and the page number where it could be found is needed. Formats for the MLA style are shown below. Okay, first, citing print sources. Second, in the MLA format, the page number is always enclosed in parentheses and can be found at the end of each statement. The author's your name and the page number are not separated by a comma. Example, Gray stated that, okay, and then yung page, okay, accordingly, Kama, and then in closing parenthesis, gray, 50. Okay. okay, Chicago Manual of Styles or the CMS for the third, okay, the citation style. CMA is a citation style that presents two basic documentation systems. A, notes and bibliography, and B, author date. Okay, so that the use of the two documentation system differs from the subject matter and the sources cited. So notes and bibliography system this documentation system is preferred in researchers researches concerning the field of humanities, such as literature, arts, history. Okay, in this system, bibliographic information such as notes and bibliography is needed. Footnotes or endnotes are placed in the bottom part of the paper and provide all information relative to the source. Ito yung sa end ng page, tapos yun yung po paggawa ng footnote or end. End note at the last, uh, yung sa last ng end ng paragraph. Okay, so CMS, the Chicago Manual of Style, eh, notes and bibliography system citation for works with one author. Example, in-text citation. Okay, let me discuss that today tap water is not suitable for drinking anymore. And then, period. And then, take note may number one doon. Okay, balik tayo. Napindot lang. Ayan, may uh, post uh, na number one. Okay. So, that's sa in-text citation. For end note naman, John Levy, our water of today. Okay, in closing parenthesis, New York, the uh, place of publication, and then the, the name of the publishing house, LMR Publishing, in 2016, the year. And then, close in parenthesis, come, 305 is the page. Okay. Okay, there. Citation. Okay, for citation of reference list. Okay, ganun na naman. American Psychological Association, when using APA citation style referencing list found at the end of the paper, okay, commonly contains all information of the literature, literature that are cited in the paper. So when allowing, following the APA format, all references are listed, listed alphabetically according to their surnames. So nasa isang page yan, alphabetically arranged ang mga... Um, authors, and then some reminders when using the AP format is given below. Ito, think note. A, 
you should be you should use a hanging indention all lines except the first first one must be indented by 0 0.5 from the left okay when writing the author's name the last name must come first before the given name then the given name must be represented by initials when there are two or more authors ellipses must be used to separate them and see the first word of the title must be capitalized other necessary publication information and proper noun should follow the same format so here are the guidelines for making a referencing list using the apa format from different sources mostly ito yung gagamitin ninyo apa for references or referencing list okay this is at the end of chapter the yung chapter 4 ng inyong research study okay so ito yung format nila okay books the journal articles the online articles ganyan ang format nila author's last name given name and middle name initials year of publication niya para sa all on title of work pero pareho yan subtitle location publisher and then ayan yung example kaya lang dito sa example natin hindi ganyan yung kalalabasan niya talaga sa references and referencing list. Okay? Kasi andyan yung format and example na nakalagay. Okay. Makikita natin sa example yan, mayroon akong binigay sa mga uh, nag-check sa akin ng law soft cap in study that they should indent at the second line. Okay? That's sa first line yung kwan. Yung uh, last name ng author. Then, naka-indent sa second line. Ay, parang baliktad lang yan ng paragraph. So, the MLA citation style commonly needs as work cited page on different page at the end of the research. So all cited sources in the body of the research must be cited and were cited. So the list of authors must be again arranged alphabetically by their surnames. So there are some considera considerations that you must look into when using the MLA citation style. Hanging indention format, ayan, yeah, uh, must be followed. Subsequent lines of each entry must be indented by 0 0.5 from the left. In using the MLA, MLA naman to, ha? the author's last name will be followed by the author's complete given name. If the middle name is given, meron yan, okay, or middle initial, it should also be write, written after the given name. If the author has name suffixes, it should be written on the last part. May mga junior, senior, ganon, or the third, ganon, the fourth, ganon, so on. All words in the title must be capitalized. Prepositions or conjunctions are excluded by this rule except if it is first word of the title. Okay. Ito yung Modern Language Association MLA format. Okay. For the books and the journals, andyan na naman yung format and example. Okay. Yeah. Number three, the Chicago Manual of Styles. CMS. In using the CMS citation style in making references, the sources will be arranged alphabetically through the author's last name. Referencing list in CMS is termed as bibliography. Okay, so bibliography or referencing list is the same. A bibliography must include all the cited related literature in the research body. Here are some guidelines for making a bibliography or your references. Okay, yun na naman yung books, the format, and then an example. Always the last name, first name, title of book, city of publication, publisher, year of publication. Example. James Bryan, the history of the universe, okay, James Bryan, comma, Bryan, period, and then the history of the universe, the title, the book, and then semicolon, okay, city of publication, okay, knowing the truth of, out of our existence, still the title, okay, and then period, and then the city of publication, Los Angeles, comma, California, colon, okay, uh, LMS, publishing, comma, 2009, for the publisher and year of publication. Okay, online journal articles, the same. Online new articles, okay, ganun din. Ayan, nandaka natin ang ating mga learning objectives, which are, number one, gather and synthesize information from different sources of information. Okay, familiarize the different citation and styles and format. Sana may natutunan kayo. Alam, maintindihan ninyo yung nandiscuss natin. So you are now a certified masaliksik and enthusiastic and you are ready to do learning task number two. Let's see if you understood, okay, what we have discussed. Let's do learning task number two. Okay, direction. Using any available materials at home, cite three different sources related to your chosen topic using the three commonly used citation styles. Present your activity using this table. 
Okay, ganito. Source 1, 2, 3. Okay, using the APA style, the MLA style, the CMS style. Okay, so this is our three eyes, week four. Week five na tayo. Okay, so ito yung inyong learning tasks. You can screenshot this table for the learning task number two. And then, sa inyong mga sources, one, sources two, sources three, kung meron kayo dyan mga encyclopedia, mga books, anong title ng mga articles, anong mga journals, okay? Okay, yan. Pwede mga source number three. Okay? So, related to your research topic, okay, you can look for your references and okay, cite those references for your review of related literature. Let's see. And you can send that on our website or uh, sa ating messenger. So uh, we can also check with Mom Tina. Maybe by next time she will be with us. Okay. Okay. Sana, okay. Sana, I hope you have understood what we have discussed by citing your referencing styles. Okay. What the different reference styles. Okay. Okay, now, there. So, good job kayo dyan pag nagawa nyo yung inyong task 2 completer na kayo with the batch on our increase investigation and immersion. Okay, there. Okay. So, thank you sa inyong lahat sa mga pagkikinig. So, we have unlock again our another learning objective. Number three, in write citations correctly on the sources used in a research study. So, palaktakan po natin kayong lahat, task 1 completers and task, one com task 2 completers for our subject inquiries, investigations, and immersion. Till next time, okay, may masalik si badge level 5 na, na rin kayo for this topic. Okay, ito yung ating mga references. Okay, is that office? Okay. <clears throat> okay, oh. Okay. 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 Thank you. I'll just need a water break. Thank you very much for watching and listening. So next Friday again, I hope Tutor Dean is with me at 4.40 to 5.20 p.m. Thank you to Dep Ed Itolai online tutorial. Uh, thank for Ed. Okay. Our SDO Pangasinan 2. Maraming salamat po sa pagbibigay sa amin ng pagkakataon na ito. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. So the, again, this is Jutor Arlene from SDO Pangasinan 2. Masanto siya. Agaw o si Katayun Amin. Okay. <laughs> Maraming salamat po. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!